<laughs> Finally! That was a cocksucker. Motherfuck, dude. Uh, a lot of patching and aesthetic cleanup to do. Which I've got all the tools necessary to do. It'll look really good when I'm done. But man, this thing's great. And this is on its uh, highest setting on purpose. Admittedly, with a stupid fan speed of high, I could switch that to low, which would probably generate cooler temps, but. Uh, just looking at what's coming out of the Okay, I'm going to try this again. I wanted to show my utter joy at finally drilling that god fucking forsaken drill hole. Oh man. Look at that, to the wall, finally, and to see this water passing out of the rig, which I'm running in, it's cold setting just to make a point, but, dude, even some tipping back occasionally makes more water go through, but, And I will move out and continue there. Here is the outside. <laughs> Look at that. Fuck all hell. Hardly have bombs, but uh, victory equals claims. And I have to make a claim here because. Uh, I mean, look at that. No more bucket in the room. I used this little strip to try to modulate how far in or out I might pull the tube. Um, as I don't want to pull it all the way back in. Um, come on. There you go. This shit's flowing out, man. Right into the dirt. Ironically enough, like tears falling on the fucking mortar that you can still see that I had to shatter from the inside of the wall when just mounting this, uh, this port. Um, all that mortar is still there. I'm leaving it there like a, I don't know, like a tribute or some shit. And this hose now is like literally, in, in my poetic metaphoric interpretation, kind of crying onto that mortar because that was the hardest part of the job. You know, drilling the hole was one thing, but then chiseling all that fuck all mortar out was the work and so uh drainage tube done can't wait to clean shit up brute forced it down to 61 I've already shown that I have the exhaust tube functioning perfectly through the fuck a wall fuck all wall ugh so ugly that I can't wait to fix it. Ugh. Whew. Anyways, I wanted to just show what the general temp is in Celsius coming out of the front of the machine. You know, because it's, you know, it's okay. And this is a hard thing. It's hard to... Actually, this is fuck all difficult. Wait a minute. 
Oh, my crippled old fucking body. There we go. Um, I can't get... Okay, room ambient. It's clearly around 22, 23, etc. Uh, I want the general ambient of what's coming out of this damn machine, which I'm reading and it's hard to see here, but down to 7 degrees Celsius. Depends on where you aim the little fucker. It's um, <laughs> it's a fifteen dollar infra infra thermo, but you know it's really accurate, and you really got to get used to how far it, the beam travels into a room. So isolating, yeah, this specific coolness changes. I mean, as the movement changes, and I can't figure out where best to put it, but the, the main thing, and it's not an ideal tube, I actually had to fucking boil the goddamn tube <laughs> and stretch it. It reminded me of uh, having to create uh, mouthpieces when playing football in school. You had to boil it and then shave it to your teeth. Well, I had to, I had to fucking boil this shit because the tube is just a little too small. But I did. All right, I'm not gonna do it. I had an opportunity. To eat. I'm growing. I'm not gonna do it. But I did manage to squeeze it onto the output port and then, you know, basically clamp it so you know it works major relief dude fuck all bucket no buckets in my goddamn room <laughs> yes kind of kind of good practice in my opinion buckets full of water next to my goddamn workstation eh uh, hey unsettling. Anyways, a successful venture, as, as you, you can't feel, but I can. The thermo has kicked off because 76 hasn't been achieved. Eventually the fan will kick off completely. Uh, but it actually is like a major money saver once you look at the data when I've turned the entire central house AC off throughout which is pretty much any given office